the complete data just you can extract in a single step just sorry you can import these jobs into your application in a, in a single step now just save this file this is your job data file just zip it always we need to zip this file to uh, you know import this file to your application and navigate import and load data here there is an option import file just click on import file it manual process we need to uh, take care everything whereas spreadsheet loader it will the loader itself submit everything just we need to populate the data in a spreadsheet loader but when you working the dat files we need to uh, work as a manual just choose the file this is your job and submit the process so when you submit here it's automatically generate one content ucm id here file action import and load import only import only is nothing but just it's it will verify whether you are meta data definition and meta data line with it's in a synchronization or not just it will validate import and load is nothing but it will import the data is nothing it will imp sorry imp for import method import action it will validate your data against your meta data definition and insert the data in your interface tables import import and load is nothing but validate the data insert the data in the interface table and against the data it will validate post validation insert the data in your base tables import and load the file action file encryption if you want to use any encryption you can use pgp sign then you can use the verification keys here again for this verification we need to use an external software in order to you know uh, encrypt your zip file just as of now select none and you may hard code you know maximum percentage of import errors maximum percentage of load errors can change the value delete source file once your process gets uh, once your file gets processed job.zip file is processed from your ecm server then if you want to delete, delete the file you may delete by default option it will delete if you want to keep the same file you can just disable just submit the process now it's created data set for us the same job name this is job.zip file okay this is our so always your job that your file name should be in your you know against job name job that that and you may change this zip zip file name you can change anything zip file name but inside of file name it should be same as your business object it's processing to load success 100% nothing but successfully process those two records gets created now we'll see failure scenario just delete this file open the same job that that file and you may change you know just remove active status for both the records or you can remove for one record which is active status just keep observe here there is no pipe symbol after comma nothing but wantedly we are ignoring one of the pipe symbol in your first data line provide like this no issues because there is no data here null data you remove the pipe symbol here itself the second data line is not matching with your defined attributes the way we can get an error here so we'll see now the file so in this case any partial validations are successfully validated any partial validations are successfully there then it will try to create those records in your application i think but in our scenario this job this second data line doesn't have any issue so that it will successfully process and it will encounter an error with the second data line again the second iteration if you want to process the second data line in the next iteration do not change any value this year in the same it will keep on update your data because we are using the match create and update and we are not changing any source system id which is the unique values so again at this value if data is there this it will keep on update because in real time we may get like this bulk of records in this let's assume five records are failure okay do not uh, chain those uh, five records into a separate data loader just keep the same values here itself just correct those records and try to process entire records because we are not changing any primary keys here the data was already there we'll try to update the same now <coughs> import status is failure message is two and fail lines one import success 50 percent here just open your line failure line the number of values in the line number does not equal the number of attributes defined in the meta data line just click on this not show you. in general it will show error the line in here itself the line also it will show you here not sure why it is not showing okay the way here 50 percentage success and total two lines are and one of the line gets processed 100 percent one of the line gets processed here again if you want to process the same just so that it will process your record now let's remove the active status and try to process so we'll see what is the possible errors we get in our scenario active status is a mandatory column 
just we'll see what all data is we'll get the way you can load you know master data like jobs locations grades departments organizations these are cm master data once you done with the master data then you can load the employees import status is success because there is no data line issues with your defined attributes definition so active status is a not a mandatory by default you create your job with an active status so already these two records are already we are uploaded to our application again it's keep on updating the same records so by default it's active status is taking you know active okay this is something related to data loader of that files in that case it has to be updated with null right as we are not passing any no by if default, i want to update okay. by default it will create a job with active status okay okay for example if you there is no here job code is there let's see just remove the job code yes we are you know populating null values of job code we'll see how it's done. Meanwhile, just we'll see the way you know jobs, location, organization, classifications, whatever you have the master data. Just you can load the data. This is organization data. This is your organization classifications, and these are the locations and SQLs. You may prepare the SQLs like for you know organization classification, and this is your location. So whichever you are familiar or whichever suits with your drive, like you know spreadsheet or data loader, you can use any one concept here. So this is you know uh, for locations. Yeah, we can share the scripts with that sample. It's been updated again. Already with that keys data is there, right? So it's keep on updating. If you load a fresh record, it will throw an error. Because all the scripts are there in your Google Drive, along with your employee scripts also. With the legislation was nothing but you know business unit wise. Now this is the master data, right? Now for employee data, this worker dot dot is nothing but employee. Here you can find employee in your view business object. Right? a worker file which is you know an employee if you want to load employee data we may refer you know worker which is worker dat dat file which contain you know n number of entities yesterday we are created one of the employee right there we could see multiple entities here also this is a worker which is a main node main main node worker dot dat file and the file discriminator is worker for the main node and if you want to populate for the same Worker, nothing but for the same person. If you want to populate the address, so select the person address. The same file again. Worker at that and file discriminator get changed person address. And if you want to load the person email, the same file but discriminator get changed person email. The way you can use all these entity against your employee. That is looks like this. This is metadata which is the definitions. This is the worker main node. Okay, for this main node. This is the discriminator person phone, discriminator person name, discriminator legislative data, person email, person address, person citizenship, work relationship, work terms, and assignments. Okay, by using this, you may create one of the employee. So in this, in the main node, if you observe here, the first four columns are mandatory, which is metadata, discriminator, source system owner, source system ID. You can find all these columns in all your data definition process now whatever you are referring the first main node worker source system id indirectly this is the person id of your person this is one of the person number okay, employee number okay, in this employee number this is i am using source system id something 6002p which is the person id so in generally for all people have the store you know person information right if you want to get person address what you will do just you will pass the person id into your person address table the same way Here also, if you want to create a person phone, we need to refer this source system ID indirectly, person ID into your across all the entities. Let's see, source system ID is six double zero two P. Here, six double zero two P, I am referring in person phone metadata, which is person ID in the bracket of source system ID. The way you can find this column in your all your data definition, person ID, source system ID, person ID, source system ID, the value would be same person ID. Nothing but For this person, I am creating all these entities. Now, times we may refer some other entity names to some other, and we may refer you know entity data into some other entity. Like you know, I am here creating work relationship, work terms, and assignment. Here, work relationship primary key source system ID is something six double zero two double. This value we may refer in work terms also. See here six double zero double, and this work relationship source system ID. 
which is the foreign key of your work terms and it is representing like period of service id source system id period of service id source system id so how will you identify this period of service id source system id is the primary key of this work relationship nothing but in the view business object there you can find these definitions and against worker you can find all your information here this is work relationship just select the work relationship this is work at a data file same and discriminator and followed by your attributes if you want any flexibilities here there is flexible attributes are there this you can use those. here period of service id okay which is a you know uh, how can i say here integration name person number person number date start work attack legal employee period of service id primary key right yeah the primary key of your work relationship if you want to pass these the same period of service id in your work terms there is a work terms this is employment terms nothing but work terms in the work terms just you can observe here this many work terms and the attributes here you may refer period of service id this is period of service id and here you can parent surrogate id nothing but its parent surrogate id is nothing but it's you know parent of other entity not this entity period of service and it's a required it's a mandatory it's a unique reference to the work relationship to which these employment terms belong a unique reference to the work relationship nothing but a unique reference of the work relationship is nothing but your source system id here this is your source system id which is a primary key and this primary key value you are using as a period of service id in your work terms okay the way you can find all your entities and work terms this work terms and work relationship both values we are referring in your assignments this is assignment and this is your person id this is work relationship id this work terms id so how will you identify your columns nothing but here period of service id in the bracket source system id person id which is source system id and here work terms assignment id which is work terms id source system id okay the way you may you know refer the primary key values to other entities and by default you can refer this we need to refer your person id across all the entities and for each entity you need to populate whatever data you require and try to find the lookup codes information from your possible lookup definitions so not use any meanings always you can use lookup for example here phone type is there phone type is w1 here phone type but in general this value is work phone the same way person name global and here name type this is also one of the lookup i'm using global some other possible values are also there and here marital status single or married whatever it may be it's a code and email address sorry email type i'm using w1 nothing but work email type home email type just codes and here address type which is also one of the lookup what is a code and citizenship status when you're active or inactive the way and in the work terms in the work relationship we are using legal employer name here legal employer name this is a legal employer name yesterday we are created right the same way here also in the work terms we are using grade job location and the department and the business the same way the same data we are using in assignments also job grade location department and followed by whatever assignment details are there okay this is something related to employee load tomorrow we will try to load this you know uh, employee data just we'll try to create one of the employee tomorrow so before closing for today any doubts any clarifications